Right, so we now turn to the study of exponential and logarithmic functions. So I'm sure many of you have seen those already. Uh, what I'll do in this first video is just review some of their properties. So you may also want to look at sections 1.5 and 1.6 in the textbook where these properties are also explained and many examples are given. So what's an exponential function? So it's a function of the form a to the power x, where a is some positive constant. Now exponential functions satisfy a bunch of properties. So I've, I have four of them here, so I'm not going to go through them. Uh, because you've seen them already, I'm sure. What's important to note is that these are only true if the bases a and b here are positive numbers. All right, so what do these uh, functions look like? Well, first, the exponential functions. So they're all going to go through the point 0, 1 by definition. Now, I've plotted a few of them here. This one is boring. It's 1 to the x. This one is 2 to the x. And the orange one here is 3 to the x. Now, what about the green one? Well, it turns out that there's a very special choice of base which is such that the slope of the tangent line here at the point 0, 1 is exactly 1. Now, this turns out to be a super important choice of base. It's denoted by the letter E. The precise value of E is something like 2.71828. We'll see how to calculate that later on. And the function e to the power x is called a natural exponential function. This is the one that is plotted in green here. What's important for you to, re to, to remember here is that the natural exponential function is such that its slope at the point 0, 1 is exactly 1. That's how it's defined. All right, now what about logarithmic functions? So logarithmic functions are just inverse functions to the exponential functions. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the logarithmic function with base a, which we write as log a of x, is equal to y if and only if x is equal to a to the y. So another way of saying that is that log a of x means what exponent y is such that a to the power y is equal to x. So it's really the inverse function of the exponential function. Now by definition, well log in the base a of a to the x will be equal to x. That just means that what this expression means is what is the exponent y which is such that a to the y is equal to a to the x. So y is just x. And similarly, a to the power log a of x is just x. Now here you have to note that for the second condition to be valid, x here has to be positive, otherwise the log here will not be well defined. Okay, so logarithm also satisfy a bunch of properties. I wrote three of them here. So the log of a product is the sum of the logs. Log of a quotient is the difference of the logs. And log of x to the r is the same as r times log uh, of x. Now, to prove those, these are just the inverse uh, statement of the properties for exponential functions. So what do these uh, logarithmic functions look like? Well, remember that if you have a function, the inverse function is, uh, the graph of the inverse function is given by just reflecting the graph with respect to the x equals y axis, because the inverse function is really just exchanging x and y. So in this case, for example, this was my exponential function. So if I draw my y to the equals x axis, and I reflect here, what I'll get is the graph of the inverse function, which here would be log in base e of x. So here I've plotted a bunch of log functions. Uh, I don't remember which one is which. I think this is probably log in base 3 of x. This is log in base 2 of x, I think. And the middle one is the one I have here, log e of x. And it turns out that the logarithmic, uh, logarithm with the base e has a name as well. It's called natural logarithm and is denoted by a simpler uh, expression, which is just ln, so for natural or logarithm natural of x. So this here would be ln of x, I think. All right, so these are what the logarithm, logarithmic functions are. Now, there's a very important properties for logarithmic functions, which is called the change of base formula. So what is this? The statement is that for any uh, choice of base which is not equal to 1, the logarithm uh, of x in the base a is the same as taking first the natural logarithm of x and dividing by the natural logarithm of the base a. So why is that true? Well, let me prove that. So log in base a of x is equal to y if and only if x is equal to a to the y, right? This is just a statement of the inverse function. So now I can take this expression and take the natural logarithm on both sides. I'll get that ln of x is equal to ln 
of 8y. And now remember that by properties of the logarithm, the logarithm of something to the exponent is the same thing as y times logarithm of a. So in other words, what I get here is that y is equal to ln of x divided by ln of a. But y is the log of x and base a, so I just get exactly the statement here, which is the change of base formula. All right, so this was my brief review of exponential and logarithmic functions. Now, the obvious question is the following. What is the derivative of the exponential and logarithmic functions? So I'll let you think about that. Try it out. Just go on and try to calculate it from the definition, and we'll uh, study that in more detail in the next video.